Hey everyone, this is Ron Husky. I'm going to be doing uh, joints from Tessica's book. Fundamentals of movement, joints. Hu human movement is generated by the interconnected motion of various joints. It's important to gain an understanding of the workings of individual joints first, and then apply it effectively to each motion. So this figure 28, raising the arms. It's pretty simple, just goes from this pose to lifting the arms. It says that this is a bad example because there's no movement of the elbow joint. So you don't see any bending of the joint. The arm just goes straight up mechanically, again like a, a clock arm or something. So instead, you'd want to bend the elbows and the knees. And while doing so, you create an arc. Um, you can also do something like this. But in this case, this is an inside arc where the, before the arm goes from uh, down on the sides to up in the air, in this case you can curve it in, like this, arc it in, and then it extends out, or in this case you can extend the arms outward up to uh, above his head. In this case, he's just lifting the arm up, but it's still bent at the joint. You see the foreshortening. So there's still, you know, um, an arc. There'll be still an arc made. Um, although this arrow points up like this, the hands would be at the side here and then be up here. So there's an arc still created. It's just um, a little different than something like this. In this example, the, the arm is sticking out further away. In here, the arm is, um, you know, foreshortened and close to the sides. The movement of the joints is not uniform. For example, even for a motion like 28, raising the arms, it can vary depending on whether you decide to use it. Excuse me, an outside, you know, middle or inside arc for the middle pose. This is an example of movement that incorporates accurate joint use when grabbing an object. This is basically just like drag. You know, the arm is down like anticipating before it goes up and then it grabs and you can see kind of an anticipation as well or a drag here as the thumb uh, is up in the air you know open and then it's closed pretty much the same thing with this grabbing the ball it's bent down a little bit changes angle to go up widening and then closed again. So that's the basic concept. So I'll just do these diagrams. <clears throat> I guess I'll draw the guy the little guy and then just make the arms do these three things as examples. Uh oh. Okay, we're back to this now.
Looks like I'm gonna have to shut down and start over again.